Hello, Sook here. In this video, we're going to learn how to convert VHS tapes to digital files. Where do we start? When we have a pile of old tapes? Or video camera cassettes? With our historical video recordings on that we want to share online as part of our life story. Firstly, we need to make all the recordings we have safe, secure and accessible as digital files. We should convert all the footage rather than letting the tapes continue to deteriorate or worse still, get lost or thrown away by mistake. VHS tapes degrade over time and will eventually become noisy and unplayable. Then we can edit the digital recordings and create video snips of say up to five minutes long that can be added to our memories in bio jars. The last thing we want to do is bore people with hours of footage, but we'll cover this in a future video. In this video, we'll learn how to convert our old analog recordings into digital format and then to store them on a USB or an external hard drive as well as our computer. The easiest way to convert these recordings is to Google for an online service to do it for you. The advantage of using these services is that they tend to use professional equipment and can digitally remaster or restore every videotape at its original resolution so there's no loss of quality. They can provide an editing service to clean up any blank or unwatchable sections remove any warped or distorted lines and broken tapes can be repaired. However, this service can be very costly, especially if you have lots of tapes. The one I used um, for a particularly bad tape cost $100. Another disadvantage is that you have to send your tapes to them with the potential for the tapes to get lost. If you do decide to do this, then at the very least, make sure you send your parcels by registered delivery. The other way is to do it yourself. You will need to buy an analog to digital converter from either Amazon, eBay or a large audio video store. Digital converters can cost anywhere from $20 to $100. The one I have over here was about $40 and stores files in AVI format. Typically, they are small, about half the size of a videotape. Look for one that does not need to install any software. Check what type of file the digital output is in. An AVI file can be read by almost any player, but it's uncompressed. MPEG, MPG, MV4 or MP4 files are the most common and in user-friendly format, being easy to store and edit. The next thing you'll need is a VHS player. Either find that old one you have stored away somewhere or buy one on eBay, like I did. If you have a VCR or camcorder cassette, hopefully you still have the video camera as you're going to need to play the cassettes with it. The old video cameras and players are becoming rare, so even if you don't have time to convert your tapes now, if you want to do this in the future, you should make sure you get a video player at the very least. The cost of a second-hand video player and the analog to digital converter is likely to be less of having two tapes converted professionally. In the analog world, there are a lot of different kinds of video audio cables. However, the most commonly supported on all players and all video cameras is the composite video cable like this one. It has a red, yellow and white connector on each end. Hopefully you still have one, if not buy one. The, co the colour is important. Your video player may also have red, orange, blue and green sockets. These are for other kind of video cables. Now connect your video player or camera to the converter. Plug the yellow connectors into the yellow socket, then plug in the red and white connectors which are for audio. 
Don't forget to make sure you put the connectors into the output sockets on the video player and not the input sockets. Then plug your USB or external hard drive into the converter to store all the footage onto. I really recommend saving all of your footage onto an external solid state drive because they're durable and don't break since there's no moving parts in these. They are a lot more reliable than a traditional hard drive that has a spinning part. Then connect the converter to a power source either using a phone charger or directly into your computer. Now make sure you have rewound the tape you are going to convert to digital. Then press start on the digital converter and press play on the VHS player or your camera. And then just stop when your tape has reached the end. It's as simple as that. You are working with tape, so it's a real-time conversion, meaning that if this tape actually does have three hours of video on it, it's going to take three hours to convert it. It's not super high resolution, so that it doesn't take up a lot of storage space. Typically, one VHS tape that has somewhere between one and two hours of footage on it usually takes one to one and a half gigabytes. Your digital file is then on your USB or hard drive storage device. Our tapes are filled with priceless moments and memories and the thought of losing these can create a lot of stress and anxiety. By converting all of these tapes gives you such peace of mind. Plus it brings you so much joy as you're going through and re-watching the videos seeing and hearing all of the events and experiences that were part of your life that you may not have revisited in a while. I hope this video was helpful and you either send all your VHS tapes or video camera cassettes off to a commercial service or have the confidence and knowledge to convert them yourself into digital files.